Drawing begins with edges, the edges of shapes, spaces, shadows. Through careful observation and practice, you can break free from the symbol system that insists on naming objects without really looking at them. You shift from left to right brain dominance. You learn to trust your eyes, and you start to find the true edges in all their complexity. Where are the edges between life and art, between inspiration and routine, between theory and practice? Where are the illusions of edges that confine us? I began with so many questions, looking for my true edges, painter, actress, singer, storyteller, dancer, poet. Connecting them composed the foundational image. Drawing must deal with negative spaces, the areas between the positive spaces we want to focus on, the shapes that exist around, behind, and underneath foreground objects provide clarity and definition. Attention to these negative spaces can help you find your flaws for a more precise and balanced composition. Where are our negative spaces? What can they teach us? How do we learn from them to find a balance? I struggled with negative spaces in a place that should have been easy. Stuck in frustration, I discovered the edges of what I never want to be. A wise drawing professor once told me that he hated the term negative space because it suggested that these spaces are bad and should be avoided. We need them to create depth and define the positive. Drawing is dependent on your point of view, which affects how you perceive relationships and perspectives. Every time you change your point of view, relationships shift. Some details become visible while others disappear. You need to decide which point of view is most pleasing to you. How do we adapt to different points of view? How do we decide where to stand? If our perspective is hiding important details, do we have a responsibility to move? New technologies, new perspectives, fuel for expression, connection, complexity, creative adaptation. The challenge of missing voices, from monologue to dialogue and back again, dramatic attention to identity and relationships, shifting points of view. Drawn into metaphors, curriculum as art, life, hidden messages, inspirational instruction from a model of mastery. Through the perception of light and shade, you can begin to bring your drawing to life, transforming flat shapes into forms. By shining a strong source of light on your subject, you can boost contrast, brighten the high points, darken the low, reveal a more dramatic story. What do our stories teach us about light and dark? Which narratives do we illuminate and why? How do we bring justice to our own stories? Characters, cultures, conflicts, face-to-face -face connections, truths in black and white and shades of gray. When you become deeply engaged in a drawing, you can experience a state of flow. In this right brain dominant condition, hours pass like minutes, distractions fall away, and you become peacefully obsessed with solving the beautiful puzzle before you. I found a flow through hidden poems, overlooked details, buried talents, stories and song, musical medicine and goosebumps. I found the language of kinospheres and gestures, memories in my feet, neurons in my fingertips, homework for life. When you have successfully perceived the edges, the spaces, the relationships, the light and the dark, you can begin to perceive the gestalt, the character, the wholeness of the image. I finally began to see the whole picture, pushing through confusion and doubt, aligning culture and community ancient and modern, art and freedom, the elements fell into place. The image was complete. It is unified, but imperfect. It is a quiet place that screams. It is determination and passion. It is me as a work in progress.